We have two flies that really impact horses when we're talking about horses in confinement. That would be the house fly and the stable fly. So when we talk about the house fly, that fly has been known to transmit diseases to horses. Now the stable fly has a little bit different impact in that it causes quite a bit of discomfort to the horse. It's a biting fly. It flies to the animal and takes blood meals. So that's the fly that makes the horse swish its tail, kick, sling its head, and show all different types of discomfort. We could have uh, summer sores, we could have itching, we could have uh, different kind of skin problems. Even eye worms can sometimes be a problem. A number one would be using uh, the Clarifly larvicide as a feed through product, which uh, basically stops the life cycle of, of the fly. We're not treating the horse, we're treating the manure. The manure from one horse in one day can produce 10,000 fly larvae. So the way Clarifly works in a, in a horse program, the animal consumes it through a tub, through a top dress. The Clarifly passes through the animal into the manure. That fly lays an egg in that manure. The egg hatches. The larva comes in contact with the compound. It does not pupate, does not become an adult fly. We've stopped the life cycle. Clarefly offers up to 97% control of fly larvae. The best way to support Clarefly and have Clarefly do its very best job is to have a IPM program. And that would include different, different products, sprays, traps, baits, and cleanliness. You know, really policing the location. Uh, removing manure, removing old feed, anywhere that those flies can breed and hatch. The benefits of using Clarifly in a horse operation would be comfort for the horse, comfort for the humans that are there on the property taking care of those animals, and also we're going to limit the passing of pathogens between animals on the, on the farm.